There is so much conflicting diet information out there today. Eat high fat, low carb. Eat more protein, less fat. Don't eat meat. Don't drink dairy. Soy milk is good. Now soy milk is bad. After a while, you just don't know what to eat anymore. And just walking into a grocery store immediately induces a migraine. But there's a company that's finally using data to put the decision-making back in the hands of the consumer. And that company is Viome. But first, we're bringing you new videos on peak performance in the modern world. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click that little bell so you get notified each week when we drop a new video on Mondays. So let me preface this by saying I love keto. It has been such a game changer for me in terms of my brain performance, my energy levels, and just overall fitness and health goals. So that being said, it hasn't all been so much sunshine and rainbows. I've had my fair share of gastrointestinal issues, stomach aches, bloating, cramping, and for a really long time, I just didn't know what it was. Was it spinach? Was it broccoli? Dare I say too much Bulletproof coffee? <laughs> but up until now, these were all just guesses or gut instincts, pun intended. That is until I finally got my gut bacteria tested by a company called Viome. Now it is by far the most comprehensive service out there for your gut microbiome. I actually used a service a couple months ago called Ubiome. And when I got the results back, it looked like gibberish. They spelled out all of the bacteria that was going on inside my gut, but then they left me holding the bag because I didn't know what to do with any of this data. And that's where Viome is different. They don't just give you the data, they actually offer you solutions. And they do so by using a highly advanced sequencing technology that was actually developed by the US government about 15 years ago to protect against biological warfare. Now, Viome is the only test on the market to see every strain, to see what these bacteria are doing, how they interact, and are they producing nutrients or toxins? I actually had a chance to sit down with Rob Pello, an account manager for Viome, and he explained why understanding what these bacteria are doing together is so critical. From Viome standpoint, if you don't know how a system is functioning and what specific players are doing, it's almost impossible to make really concrete recommendations for how to improve that system. Um, and so what we do different is we're the only organization that can see the function of the bugs. What are they doing and at what level? This could be the first technology to look at what the microbiome is actually doing and then start to impact and change health uh, preemptively as opposed to the current method, which is let's treat symptoms with pills and, and treatments and things like that. And honestly, getting a better understanding of your gut bacteria will actually help you understand why you need to make different food choices. Because as Rob explains, there's just so many options out there. How do you even know where to begin? I know that I should be focusing on what I eat, but then what should I actually be eating? There's no clear delineation of what makes sense and what doesn't. And I feel like most people end up just going to Instagram or celebrities to figure out, okay, well, what's working for them? I'll try, you know, what looks most appealing or just what I'm exposed to. And the reality is, is then some of those diets work great and some of them don't work at all. Uh, some of them are detrimental. And a lot of times it's not sustainable anyway. So I think why it's important to look at the microbiome is, um, First and foremost, uh, so Katie, you and I, we're 99.9% .9 the same when it comes to our human DNA, right? We're basically the same, despite the fact that we look totally different. Um, when it comes to our microbiome, and uh, just for anybody that doesn't have a, a baseline of what that means, the metabolism, you know, the thing, the system that breaks down all of our food and produces all of our energy for just about every other system that we use, uh, which dictates sleep, circadian rhythm, all of these different things, that system between you and I is probably less than 1% the same. So the notion that whatever you're eating is the exact same thing that I should be eating and that there's this universal healthy diet or even a couple of perfect diets is just nonsense because it's the personalization and the nuance that makes all the difference. And so that's one of the cornerstones that makes Viome so unique. They collect your sample, they analyze your data, and then they use AI technology to provide you with a concrete list of 
food suggestions, including superfoods, foods to minimize, and foods to avoid altogether. It's like a nutritionist and a data scientist had a baby and made the most badass tailored food pyramid possible. Now my results drastically differed from Jasper's, who's drastically differed from my sister's. So everyone literally has completely different food plans. Now in terms of timeline, it takes about a full month to get your results back, but trust me, it is worth the wait. I know in this Amazon Prime generation, I'm like, I want my results tomorrow, but it takes a little bit of time and there's good reason. In fact, I recently found out that I need to stay away from shocking almonds. So Jasper, you're gonna wanna throw out that almond butter. <laughs> and that my superfoods are actually bananas, which is pretty shocking. Not exactly keto, but we'll, we'll hate bananas. I'm not gonna mention them. <laughs> I'm gonna include that right there. <laughs> that was perfect. And my superfoods actually include Brussels sprouts, which I love, sunflower seeds, and yams. And if you yourself wanna see what a sample food recommendation plan looks like, head over to Viome.com. Now, one of the things that really surprised me was the low bacteria count in my gut because I drink a ton of kombucha, I eat a lot of coconut yogurt, which is supposedly has a lot of probiotics, and I eat sauerkraut. So why didn't that move the needle in my test? I had to actually talk to Rob about this and asked him what he thought about maybe supplementing another probiotic. Probiotics have a very difficult time colonizing, meaning sticking around. And a lot of the benefit they provide is just them passing through. And this is where I'm gonna geek out a little bit. In your microbiome, in your gut, there's these little dendritic cells that are constantly taking the temperature of what's in the environment. They grab stuff and they see, is it good, is it bad? Should we tell the immune system to freak out? And when you have probiotics coming through, it's the dendritic cells are grabbing those probiotics and saying, everything's cool, everybody, be, everybody chill. Um, it's in terms of moving species and getting more richness, a lot of times it's the prebiotics that make the biggest difference. So the fibrous foods, uh, root vegetables, carrots, onions, artichokes, all of those types of things that feed the overall ecosystem and allow the good stuff to grow. So when to retest, Rob says, wait about three to four months really incorporate that food recommendation plan provided by Viome and then retest because a lot can change in your microbiome by then. Rob also said when it comes to food recs, don't just eat the superfoods and avoid everything else. It's a common mistake. I may have done it. But what's important is you want to get a diverse range of vegetables and fruits because all of those in tandem contribute to a healthy microbiome. So if you're just eating your superfoods and you're skimping out on everything else, you're actually doing more harm to your microbiome than good. So bottom line is definitely load up on those superfoods, but don't skimp out on the secondary recommendations. Okay, so you're probably wondering about pricing. And honestly, after spending $500 on blood work a couple weeks ago, this test did not seem so bad. It normally retails for $399, but they've been doing a ton of sales recently, and I've seen it as low as $149. Now, as the company expands, the kits are inevitably gonna go down in price, and I really foresee this test being so much more affordable. But as I always say, you really can't put a price tag on your health. And I actually feel like getting this concrete data and such personalized food recommendations is actually cheaper than it would take to do a bunch of sessions with a nutritionist who's not even looking inside my gut microbiome. So I'll let you be the judge, but I've gotten so much out of the results and I'm just thrilled to be able to share what this company has done. It's had such a huge impact on me, on my sister, on Jasper, and I really would recommend it to anyone. And as a caveat, I just wanna say I am not sponsored by Viome. I met Naveen at the Bulletproof conference, but that was about it. The staff there were super friendly, but I get no benefit out of this. I don't have a discount code. I just love the product, and that's why I wanted to share this with you. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And remember, if you like this video, please make sure to go back and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get notified each week when we drop a new video. 
And don't forget to comment. We're just getting started here. We have so much to share. And if you want to see more about the microbiome or some different things that we're eating to help feed our good bacteria, comment below. Let us know what you want to see next. So until then, we'll catch you on the next one.